Hello there, I am Giant Growth More, Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on the Sphire Zone and we battled May for the final time. We also bought um, TM, a TM for the TM38, I believe, Fire Blast to teach uh, to Smokey, and the TM15 Hyper Boom to teach to uh, uh, um, Metroid. There we go. I'm having trouble remembering Metroid's nickname for some reason. I just draw a blank or something for a second. But yeah, I bought both of those TMs at the department store. They were pretty expensive though. I think the I think the uh, fire boss was like fifteen hundred or fifty five hundred, I should say. And then the uh, maybe it was actually forty five hundred, and the hyper beam was fifteen fifty five hundred. I know the hyper beam was a more expensive. We also caught a lot of new Pokemon in the Sapphire Zone. We got the TM for Solar Beam while we were there. We found it in the Sapphire Zone. We taught that to Geico. Uh, by the way, I have Geico up front, but that's probably not the best matchup. So I'm going to go with. Uh, let's go to Fighter, I guess. Yeah, keep Fighter front. So let's take on, uh, we also came to Mount Pyre, too. We see that Team Magnus here, like we saw in, I think, the last part, the part uh, before that, where we saw Team Rocket, Team, not Team Rocket, but Team Magma Grants, that said, hey, let's move out to Mount Pyre, guys. I'll show you how exactly how, I'll show you exactly how scary Team Magma can be. Oh, really? You're gonna show me? Interesting, let's battle. Okay, this is a Team Magma Grant, cool. He has a Zubat, okay, fine. Let's go for the Rock Tomb, but also I could just use Fighter, could just use Facade too, but uh, Rock Tomb is always super effective, so there we go. Awesome, take it on Zubat. The Zubat was level 30 and it's male. Yeah, cool. Another Zubat. So he has two Zubats and maybe a Numble, I'm guessing. Let's go for another Rock Tube. Rock Tube hits, awesome, nice. There we go, awesome. This Zubat was also level 30 male. Cool. Oh, you have three Zubats. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't, I honestly don't think Team Magma is scary. Even when I was a kid playing this game for the first time, when I was like around 11 or 12, it was not scary. In my walkthrough guide, my original walkthrough guide of this game, they were not scary. So, I mean, come on, if they were always scary, the game wouldn't be rated E, right? It'd be like rated teen or E10 for ages 10 and up, or... Wait, teen for teen? I don't know. He's just trying to pull a chain or something. So you think you can stand up, up alone? Team T Magma might. T Ma I, I misread your dialogue, sorry. Thanks for the success of your Pokedo, though. So. We'll keep fired up front. Here's another Team Magma grunt. I think there's three Team Magma grunts and then we'll run into Maxi again. What's up with you? But well, we won't battle Maxi. At least this time. Uh, what does a single kid expect to do? Uh, drive Team Magma out of here? Silly goose. So here's another Team Magma Grunt, cool. He has two Pokemon, and one's a Poochiana, cool. Good for him. He has Poochiana level 31, it's male. Let's go for the Arm Thrust. Oh man, the water, my water bottle uh, made a little noise. Yep, it's a... I, I, I squeezed it a little bit, and it's like popping, you know, like... Um, over time, it can just like pop back out, like the plastic can, from being dented. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Okay, the Poochiana goes down, so that's good. It's, oh, he has a Numble. Cool. Great. Let's go for the facade. Okay, didn't quite want to kill, but that's okay. Okay, so it gives amnesia, which raises special defense sharp, pretty cool. Let's use an arm thrust till we think it, knock out this uh, Numble, quick call take it. So that Numble is level 31 and a male, by the way. So that's pretty cool. We defeated a uh, Team Magma Grant, cool. Dang, too strong. Thanks, uh, thanks for the 220, not the 620 poker dollars. My mod ball keeps on cracking. I bet that microphone's picking that up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, I remember you from Mount Chimney. It's payback time. Sure. Let's battle. It's another Team Magma Grant, so I don't even think the admins are here for this one. That's okay. When we get back to the hideout, if you're playing Ruby, um, let's use, uh, Army Thrust on this thing. On Numble. If you're playing Ruby, you'll run into admin uh, Tabitha again. If you're playing Sapphire, you're gonna run into uh, Magnet Eight. Mag Magnitude Eight. Hopefully, this isn't too much. If you're playing Sapphire version, you'll run into um, Adam and Matt again. It's Team Aqua, Matt, Adam, Adam and Matt. And then if you're playing uh, Pokemon Emerald, you're actually gonna run into Team Aqua, and you'll run into, I believe, Team Aqua, Adam and Matt as well. So yeah, just keep that in mind. We won't, you won't run into court, Team Magma, Adam and Courtney, or Team Aqua, Adam and Shelly, because they like switch off after every location, I guess, or big, huge location. 
very important location, I should say. So, yeah. Um, let's go for the facade. This is Nemo's level 31 male. Nice. And we take out one awesome. We defeat Team Magma Grunt. Nice. Uh, get beaten by some kid again. Yeah, I know. Sorry, man. Thanks for this concentration to poke it always, though. Not you again. You impeded my plans repeatedly, but this time you're too late. The bull orb that rested atop Mount Pyre, I maxly claimed it as mine. So you took the bull orb when what you're wearing on your clothes right now is, a uh, red. So why would you take the bull orb? Why don't you take the red orb to match your outfit, at least? That's the wrong orb, just telling you that now. Foo 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 finally I realized my grand design. Come crew, it's sleepboard next. That's my Magni. Ma it's not my Magni. That's my Maxi impression, but it's really bad from the anime. So they're going to sleep right next. Okay. Oh no, this can't happen. This, this uh, couldn't happen. Yeah. Okay. How how could you take the boo orb? Okay. Uh, the the boo orb and the orb must never be separated. They belong together. Hmm. Fine. Take this the remaining orb. So please take this take it back after that fall man and get the orb back. The other orb back. I don't think you have to actually return the orbs. Actually, it's kind of funny. But yeah, we'll tell them just to be nice. Suck to you. Vampire is where we claim we come spirits and a Pokemon that I passed on. This is high price. This is a high place where one can see all of Hoenn. The disembod disembodied spirits of Pokemon must find Solance here. I think I pronounced that word right. It is a coincidence that you are here. We'll hear we hear a tale, a tale long told by the Hoenn region. Sure, why not? It happened long, long ago. The world was wrecked by a ferocious um, clash between Pokemon of the land and Pokemon of the sea. The Pokemon of the land raised mountains and created continents. The Pokemon of the sea raised huge waves and carved out oceans. The fierce duel raged without end. The world was engulfed with infurious storms and massive infernos. The red orb and the blue orb brought, brought an end to the, to the calamity. White poured from the two orbs and becalmed the, anger, the enraged uh, adversities, I guess I pronounce it. The pair made docile, um, uh, burrow deep. The pair made dos made docile, burrow deep under the ground with where eventually they disappeared. Interesting. They talk about Kyogre and Groudon, you know. I think there's an item you can go over here. Maybe if you check the tombstones. I should put a pearl on, but I'm, I'm, st I'm just stubborn. Move on the other side. It's just a pearl just to have it on, I guess. Oh, it still lingers from. Okay, another pearl lingers. Never mind. It's never oh, another pearl lingers from from uh, before. Oh, rare candy. Hidden item. Awesome. So now we have 13 rare candies, don't we? Let me just double check. We have 13. Wow. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, let's so, yeah, it sucks at this place. The power factor off, dang it. Oh well. This the fog and stuff goes away, that's good. But we'll get the let's use another pearl though. We have 18 new super pearls after this, so that's good I guess. We're not running low low, but we're still gonna run we're gonna run our venture if we don't buy any more new super pearls or whatnot. So now I wanna go through the trainer version trainer part of Mount Pyre, where there's trainers we can battle. So, uh, who do I have in front? I have fighter up front. Okay, cool. I actually want to try to keep it. I want to put Geico up front, I guess. So, yeah. So, here's a bug maniac, it looks like. Or maybe he's like a collector. I think he's a collector. Hey, are you searching Pokemon for Pokemon? He came along after me. You're rude. No, I just kind of want to battle you. Have a f nice, fun Pokemon battle. Okay, this is a Pokemon maniac mark. Okay, cool. I sent that wear on. Okay. So. Yeah, let's see here. Bolt so you can switch with that. So I'm being switch with this. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess we can do solar beam. I guess it'll be neutral effect because you know we on steel and f steel and rock type. Jeez, okay. Oh, Skarmory was dragged out. Cool. Except for Skarmory doesn't have any really effective moves against this way on. Jeez, I'm gonna have to split the experience two ways now. Fine, we'll switch, we'll, switch, we'll switch to Metroid. Please do not use Roar. Now you're probably gonna use Roar because they probably jinxed it. Up against Iron Defense. Okay, cool. Good for you. The stupid Laron. 
I did not want to split the experience two ways, but what do you gotta do? This way on level 32 and it's male and it goes down. Awesome. Nice. Okay, we defeated Pokemaniac Mark. Cool. I, I'm sorry for- forgive me please. Yeah, you better be sorry. You made me split the experience two ways. Okay, yeah, okay. Steven, uh, we, we got 3,840 Poké Dollars. Nice, thanks man. So, Geico stuff front. I don't think you battle. I'll charge the holes in the ground here and there. I didn't notice that I took tum a tumble from the floor above. That's actually good to know. Uh, who's in my second slot? Fighter. Okay, cool. We should have, uh, Grovile and Hariyama should have a good tag team battle. Double battle, I should say. We're here to on a dare. He, uh, if I show how cool I am, she'll fall for me. I know it. Is this, is this not a young couple that we're gonna fight? Jeez. I know, I can cream you and show how cool I am. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to cream you because, as I told several other people in this project, hey, if I, if my, if I lose this battle, when I have un, when I use a Pokemon, then I go back to the current, the last Pokemon center I healed that, and, uh, I have to give you money for you winning. So therefore, I'm not gonna let you win. I'm gonna try my best to win, and, uh, yeah. That's that, I guess. So yeah, they have a main metric and a um Delcat. I didn't even read their names, but I know they're a young couple. So yeah. Let's go for the Leaf Blade on Main Metric and the uh Arm Thrust, I guess, on Delcaddy. So let's see the Leaf Blade does hit on the main metric, it's level 32 male, and the Delcaddy is level 32 female. Cool. So yeah, there's a little bit of half and then now Arm Thrust is gonna do at least half. A little bit over half. Awesome. Oh no, not the cute charm. Well, uh, good thing we have the red flute. Nice, the duck caddy goes down. Awesome. Gaku level 35. Awesome. Gaku's trying to learn agility. Sorry, I want to teach Ga Gaku agility. My bad. I'm sorry. No. Did not learn agility. Okay, good. My next trick is roar. You're gonna make the. You're gonna make us put it three. The experience three ways now. Smokey, let's go. Um. Switch that. That I guess. Um. Let's go for the flamethrower, and let's use the red fruit, because I don't think we have it. We haven't used the red fruit, but we've used the yellow and blue fruit so far. But the red fruit heals, snaps, um, Pokemon out of infatuation. Let's see how it's season on. Wait, what the- oh yeah, wait, it's not- the po the Delcaddy we fainted, so like, there's nothing to be attracted to if the Pokemon fainted already. That makes sense, so that's why we can't use the red fruit on Hoyama, it wouldn't have any effect. Okay, let's go for the, um, facade on Manetric. Main is gonna use Quick Attack, of course. We're gonna use Facade on this main trick, and it goes down. Awesome, we didn't even need Smoke to use Flamethrower. Cool. Nice. We need for Young Kapo, Dez, and Luke. Dez from Austin Alley, Disney Channel's Austin Alley, and Luke from, uh, Jesse, Disney's channel is Des Jesse. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, they have the same name, at least. Wait, would that- One would have to be a- Well, Dez and Luke are both, um, a boy name, but I guess Dez could also be a girl name, too. Wook says whoopsie. Thanks for the 2048 Pokedoros. I think the Luke from Jesse, Disney Channel's Jesse, did say whoopsie or something like that, at least once in the series. I thought the voices were run. Yeah, okay, cool. Also now, and um, Jesse both got four seasons on Disney Channel, which is the max they usually go for for Disney Channel um, shows, sitcoms at least. You know, there was an exception with like, you know, Kim Possible, I think, had at least three or four seasons, maybe even five. Uh, I know, uh, I know Phineas and Ferb got like seven seasons, but they're, they're animated, those are animations, animated cartoons, so they're not live action, so it, like, it, it, had, it differed from the two, I guess. So yeah, um, let's switch, uh, Geico with, uh, I guess Screamo? No, let's switch with, uh, Smokey, actually, yeah. So yeah, Smokey's up front. Let's take the, let's get this item, let's, let's take this item, there we go. That's an Ultra Ball. I stumbled in my woods there for a second. Can't run in here, so that kind of stinks, but that's okay. Second floor, I'm on Pyre. I think this is a psychic, if I'm not mistaken. Haha, ha, this is no place for children, at least of. At least, nah, something, something you. Not for you, or something like that. Here's a psychic, yeah. So, she has one Pokemon, it's Psychic Kayla, she has Kadabra, okay, cool. Let's go for the Flamethrower. Smokey will use Flamethrower. This Kadabra is getting a Psybeam on Smokey, so it does about over a third of. Smokey has max HP, so that's not good. We have to knock this thing out fast, and we do. Oh man, I thought we knocked it out. Shoot, let's go for the buy slam. It's gonna use a fact, which raises the defense, so that's good. But you only have one Pokemon, so it only raises the defense for that Kadabra. 
So yeah, awesome. Nice. Okay, player defeated uh, Psychic Kayla. Nice. Okay, we defeated Psychic Kayla basically. I lost that queenly. Sorry, thanks for 760 to poke it always though. Really appreciate it. Here's an item. It is a super repel. Nice. Always good to have another super repel. Here's another psychic, by the way. Let's see. Uh, again, Smokey's up front. The rich atmosphere of the mountain has elevated my psychic power. I'm a child like you. You dream of winning? Yes, I do, actually. Let's battle. Here's another psychic. Psychic William. I think this is a male version. The one we battled before was a female version. Let's go for the flamethrower on this Ralt. It's level 31 and male. So hopefully we can take this thing out in one hit. That'd be nice. And we do. Awesome. And I think she also has a Curlia, yeah, yeah, she has Ralts and a Curlia, which Curlia is the ball form of Ralts. It's gonna use another flamethrower, it's gonna use double team. Uh, this Curlia is level 31 and it's a male, so that's pretty cool. A flamethrower hit, still that's awesome. Let's hope we can one hit KO this thing, that'd be nice. And we do, awesome. Smokey is now level 35, awesome. Yeah, we defeated, uh, Psychic William. I drown my I drown in self pity. Don't feel too bad about yourself, man. You did good. You did well. Uh, thanks for the seven hundred for four pocket dollars, man. Go on to the next floor of Mount Pyre. So there's an item right there, but I don't think we can get it without falling to the ceiling first. But we have to get to the very top. Get the TM for Shadow Ball, which I want to teach to uh, Twitch actually. So yeah, I'm um, gonna switch uh, Screamo and uh, Smokey, I guess. So yeah, here's a fire to guys. So hopefully you have a fighting type Pokemon. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't though, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. Teacher, please watch over my progress. Okay. So this is a this is a black belt black belt trainer. So he he's got to have a fighting type, right? Maybe maybe not. Oh, yeah, it does have a fighting type. Cool. So yeah, we have the type advantage then. Let's go for the airways. Or tell Screamer to go for the airways. This monkey is level thirty and male. Awesome. It takes it. I don't want it. Awesome. I like it. Let's see, you have a Machoke, cool. Let's stay in with Screamo. I want Screamo to use another Aerialist, so let's use Aerialist on this Machoke, which is level 30 and male. It's a little bit over half, that's good. It's gonna use Karate Chaps to be neutral effective, because Steel is weak against uh, Fighting type moves, but Flying types resist Steel resist Fighting type moves. So let's go for the Air Cutter. It hits awesome, nice. And it should take it out, yes it does. The Machoke goes down. And he has one more Pokemon. I think it's like a Hariyama. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Cool. Um, I said that like right as the name was going on screen right there. <laughs> Let's uh, use Aerialis again. This Hariyama is level 30 in male. So yeah. Do a little bit over half, so that's good. Oh no, it's gonna split the experience now. Shoot. Okay, whatever. Let's go for the Fire and Flame Throw, I guess, on this Hariyama. It's level 30 in male. Like I said that. I think I said that twice now. Ah, oh, shoot. No, the, no, it's gonna split. It's gonna be split two, three times now. Well, I guess Fighter is, well, actually, Fighter is almost level 35, so this kind of worked out. Um, let's go for the Arm Thrust. There we go, nice. Hoyam, uh, my Hoyama beat their Hoy his Hoyama, there we go. So yeah, Fighter's not level 35, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we we, we defeated Black Belt uh, Atush, uh, at, at Sushi, well, let me, well, let's call him At Sushi, because it's AT and then Sushi. Atsushi, Atsushi, teacher, please forgive me. I'm not your teacher, but thanks for 1,920 pocket dollars, though. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. I think there's like one more four of Mount Pyre, and then we're at the top, basically. Well, maybe there's one more after this. Oh, here's a Hex, Mac Hex Master. They have um, she probably has like a Dark type or Ghost type Pokemon. So everyone's level 35 except for Screamo. So Screamo will be um taking on this battle, I guess. I love starting this battle, I should say. I love things horrifying. It's like a disease. When, when I'm here, when I'm here, I shiver with fear. Okay, if that's what you're into, I guess I can't stop you. Yeah, here's Hex Master or Hex Maniac. So she has a Shepherd, nice. It's level 31 and a female, nice. Let's go for the air race on this thing. Let's see how much it does. It does a little bit of half and it faints it awesome. I wasn't expecting him to one shot it, but that's cool. Get okay, a Kadabra, nice. Because they have a Shepherd and Kadabra. This Kadabra is level 31 male. Let's go for another Airways. Psybeam is not going to be very effective on Screamo. So that's good. Oh, critical hit though. Jeez. Okay. 
Um, yeah, do you want to kill the cadaver too? Awesome. Way to go, Screamo. Screamo's on the level 35. Awesome. We defeated a hexamaniac, uh, Tash Tasha. Yeah, losing the, I dislike. Sorry. Thanks for 1,488 poker dollars, though. There's gotta be one more floor of him at Pyre. And then we can, like, drop through the ceiling and stuff. So, yeah. Let's switch, um, to... Let's switch to Geico, I guess. Yeah. Nice. Geico was a level 36, so one more level one Geico evolves from a Grovile into a Sceptile. He's another Hex Maniac. When I'm here, a curious power falls into me. That's cool. That's cool. Good for you. Hex Maniac Valerie has one Pokemon that's a Sableye. Sableye doesn't have any weaknesses because it's dark and uh, ghost type, just like Spirit Team and Fourth Generation didn't have any weaknesses. But now that there's fairy types in the later generations, it has a weakness finally. So that's good. Let's go for the Leaf Blade. We gotta use like a best moves technically, so we'll start with the Leaf Blade, I guess. Or we can use Solar Beam too, actually. Oh, it has a tactic, and if I was trying to wanting to do Solar Beam, then uh, then uh, I could just use Protect on the turn. It's gonna uh, notice that you know Geico's gonna use Solar Beam that turn on second turn. But yeah, the Leaf Blade almost fancy though, so that's good. So let's see. Oh, it's gonna hit three times. Yeah, it hit three times. Okay. I was gonna continue if it did more. Let's go for the bolt seed. Nice. This should take it out. Saber is level 32 in female, by the way. It goes down. Awesome. Okay, we defeated Hexamaniac Valerie. Cool. The power is embedded away. I missed probably. I misread that probably. Thanks for 768 pocket dollars though. And here is our TM TM30, I believe, for Shadow Ball. Um, yeah. Team 30, yeah, awesome. So let me check my final movesets for my Pokemon real quick. Let's see here. For Grumpig, Shadow Ball, Shockwave, Psychic, and Psybeam and Psychic. Okay, yeah. So let's uh, teach Shadow Ball to Twitch then. Yeah, nice. And Shadow Ball. Teach Shadow Ball to Pokemon? Yes. Uh, only Pokemon can learn is Twitch, actually. Twitch wants to do Shadow Ball, however, Twitch already has four moves. Should move be deleted and replaced with Shadow Ball? Yes. Which move should be forgotten? Let's get rid of Psy Wave. It's, uh, p uh, attack with power waves of varying intensities. And its attack, its accuracy is 80. Compared to like Psy Beam being 65 but 100% accuracy, or 100 accuracy. And then Psychic being 9 power and 100 accuracy. So I think Psy Wave is the weakest link here, so I want to give it a Psy Wave. And that's fine, that's a, you know, uh, Twitch's final move set. Yeah, Twitch forgot how to use Psy Wave, and Twitch wins Shadow Ball, nice. So, uh, yeah, so Twitch's final move set is, let me get to it actually, is Shockwave, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Psy Beam. Yeah, nice, okay, cool. So now I can fall through the um, holes and go to the previous levels and get items and stuff. Here's our first item actually right here. What is it? It's a, um, it's a lax instance. I think, okay, what does that do again? I think it repels Pokemon or something if your Pokemon's holding it and it's first in your party or something like that. Um, we can sure try that on, uh, oh wait, hold that in the mat so it will the post accuracy. Let's give that to, who doesn't have an item? I know there's one Pokemon in here that doesn't give me an item. Let's give that to Twitch for right now. Because everyone has a held item then, if we go down the list real quick, I didn't even go back to my back, shoot. But if we go down the list, uh, Geico has a Miracle Seed to raise its grass type, power of grass type moves it has, so that's awesome. Uh, Smokey has the Charcoal, which raises the power of its fire type moves, which is awesome. Uh, Fighter has the uh, Soft Sand, which will actually be helpful when I can teach uh, uh, Earthquake to uh, Hariyama. As it's uh, only um, ground type move, but it'll raise the power of that when we get to there. So so far, South Sand hasn't really done much good for uh, Hariyama because Hariyama doesn't have any uh, ground type moves yet. But it's uh, I think uh, Aero I think uh, Earthquake comes around like the eighth or seventh or eighth gym badge. I think when you're going through the cavern with Team Magma or something, maybe somewhere in there. I think like right before you see use the red orb on a. Uh, on, right when uh, Maxi uses the blue orb on Groudon, or when uh, Archie uses uh, the red orb on Kyogre, where it just like it disappears but comes close to us in the cutscene. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, you know, Skarmory has the uh, 
uh, I should say, Screamer has a, a ammo coin which doubles the prize money if it appears in battle. So it's awesome. And then Tentacool Metroid has the um, item Mystic Water, which is the power of its water type moves, which is actually just Surf right now because it's only Surf. Well, that's only that's Surf is only the the only water type move it knows actually for its final move set. Because final move set: Sludge Bomb, Ice Beam, Hyper Beam, and Surf. Dang, I didn't mean to go back, but yeah, let's go to Twitch. Twitch, um, I guess, you know, has a lax incent, which will lower, I guess, have a chance to lower the foe's accuracy, their Pokemon's accuracy, so that's pretty cool. So now everyone is holding an item, so that's awesome. I think you want to go to the bottom hole, because if you go to the top hole, you go outside of the place you want to land. So go to, I'm choosing the bottom hole. Yeah, because if you chose the top hole, you would land, like, right, like, not on the tombstone, but the space above it, if that makes sense. So yeah. Here's another item. I think it's like a repeller something. No, it's a sea incense. Also, it raises, I think that also raises the power of, uh, water type moves. But I have a mystic water already. So I'll put it in the PC. Just to have, just to have it in stash it away, I guess. Press effective off. Okay, fine. We'll use another repeller once we get to the next level. Which, by falling to the place, of course, you know. <laughs> falling and doing things with style, everyone. So yeah, this is a super repeller. We have 18 more after this. Cool. I like the music for Mount Pyre. It's kind of cool. It's nice and soothing, I guess, in a weird way. It's, well, it's kind of like low beat, like kind of calm and like mellow, I guess you could say. So yeah, I think we're done with the map pirate now. Awesome. So let's start the next route, which actually is right across from Mount Pyre. It's like an optional route, really. You don't have to go through here to progress anywhere in the game. It's just nice to have. I think if you just cut right here, you can battle like a psychic and get an item. I might want to do that with, um, you know, uh, I might want to do that with, uh, get Larry out of the PC or something. Oh, here's some raspberries. Cool, two of them, nice. And then we have citrus berries, and then I don't know what the berries are actually right there. I think it's like a, I forget, maybe a raspberry. These are two citrus berries, by the way, actually. But the ones next to them probably were raspberries, right? No, they're petra berries, of course. Two petra berries, which you, uh, you know, poison and the rust bears heal, uh, um, burn and then the citrus berry who store like 30 HP of one Pokemon. This girl gives you a TM for, uh, Giga Drain. I think it's like TM19 if I were to guess. I love grass type Pokemon. Do you have a grass type Pokemon? Oh, you like grass Pokemon too? Do, don't you? I'm so happy we can have, you can have this. It's a token of our friendship. Man, you just say you have grass type Pokemon and she gives you a great TM for grass type Pokemon. Awesome. So this is TM19. I was right. I check trees with the grass type Pokemon. I'm like a tree doctor. Is there any, like, hidden items in these rocks? I guess not, but I want to check them, just to check them. Because I'd be surprised, you know, which one have hidden items, you know? No hidden items in any of those four rocks, including this one. What about this one? I guess not, okay. We'll teach our TM19 Giga Drain to uh, Geico, actually. So let's go teach it. Yeah, there's Giga Drain right here. Yeah, okay, so let's uh, get rid of one move. Okay, Metroid can win, which would be cool, but I want to give it to Geico. The card in the moves should be removed, deleted, and replaced with Giga Drain, yes, which we should be forgotten. Let's get rid of, um, let's get rid of Bolt Seed. I don't think we need any more. Yeah. One, two, and poof. Gekko forgot how to use Bolt Seed. And Gekko and Giga Drain. Nice, okay. Again, you can just cut to avoid the tall grass here. Uh, I should put a pro on, but I'm feeling risky. Okay, I should put a pro on actually after this, after this battle with this hex main echo, because I get the sprite. This hyper push in that rock, so that's awesome. Or on that rock. Mount Pyre, where the spirits of Pokemon sleep. Uh, where do you Pokemon sleep? In Pokeballs. <laughs> or out with me if I'm just, well, they always just sleep in Pokeballs, let's be real. In the anime, they sleep with their trainers sometimes, but in the Pokemon games, they sleep with their Pokeballs, basically. So here's a Dusk Goal. Um, it's good for the Leaf Blade on this thing. Pursuit would be super effective, but I think Leaf Blade would do a little bit more. This Dusk goes level 31 in female. Could quite, quite awesome, I'll take it. x main X, so it's about to send the Shuppet. Which is, okay, we'll use, uh, we'll stay in with the Geico, and Geico can use Leaf Blade on this thing. This Shuppet's level 31 in female, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what she just does. It, uh, when he kills it, awesome. Nice. I think this will be the last battle of the video, too, by the way. Well, I mean, I didn't your name, I'm sorry. It was Hex Maniac something, overflowing with Vitality. V vitality or something like that. Thanks for 744 Poké Dollars. I'm sorry I forgot, I didn't read your name off. Is this, is this an item in this rock? No, I guess not. Let's put a repel on, if we don't already have one on, at least. Let's see. Yeah, we do have a repel on, cool. 
I think there's multiple paths you can take, but um, yeah, there's some pearl going off, okay. Yeah, but I think I might have to go around here two or three times, back here two or three times, because there's split paths, we can only go one way. I guess the path, it's kind of like the Jagged Pass, where you had to go, uh, return like two or three times to get all the items and face all the trainers. That's what I want to do. Um, no hit item there. Let's put a pearl on though, because my pearl just wore off. My last pearl just wore off. So yeah, here's a hit hidden item, I think. It's a super pearl, awesome. Very worth picking up. Here's another item. It's an elixir. Okay. No hit item in that rock. Okay, what about... E okay, let's... No, okay, yeah, kind of just purposely, kind of, almost, not really by accident. If that makes any sense, not really. That just probably doesn't make sense. I meant to, like, not... I tried to sneak around her, I guess, but I kind of ran right at her, and when you run your trainers, they kind of spin around faster and stuff, and can see you faster when you're running around. So this will actually be the last part of the video, I promise. Okay, so when to, when to determine how strong you are, I'll be the test. I think this is a cool trainer, so she probably has like four or five Pokemon, so this is going to be probably a fairly long battle, because she has five or six Pokemon. Oh no, she always has three, okay, that's good. Cool trainer, Wendy. Since I'm Marvel. Marwile. Okay, so let's go for the Leaf Blade, I guess. Um, it's not going to be very effective, but we can still hope for the best. Yeah, it's not very effective. Shoot. Fake tears. So that's going to lower Gaikyo's special defense. That's not good. Let's go for another Leaf Blade then. I think it, I think one more Leaf Blade after this should do it. Unless I would decide to use a different move. Actually, I'll just do one more Leaf Blade after this. Let's use Bite on us. Okay. We did a fair amount of damage. On no full store. Well, as long as you get those out now, I mean, it's okay. I don't feel really bad then. I feel bad like that you're using them then because you're just using them I guess. Um, you can, I guess you're a trainer, you can do what you want. I could heal whenever I want so that's only fair. Anyway, let's use one more leaf blade on this thing. Oh shoot 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 shoot, yeah. Geico is almost dead, or fainted I mean, almost fainted. You know, there we go, the mobile. I should have switched to like smoking honestly but I just didn't. And he's about to spell up her. Interesting, I'm gonna try to use um, Giga Drain to restore uh, Gecko's PP or HP. So, nope, let's get his Protect, of course. I thought I was gonna like use Wing Attack or something, that would be the worse. You know, you think I would heal after this next turn, like right this turn right now, but I'm gonna risk it. Okay, good, use Protect, and. Because uh, I always Giga Drain will be neutrally effective, because he Popo is Water Flying type, so this, cause that's good. Popo is level 31 in female, almost knocked it out awesome. Let's go for the um, Pursuit, I guess. Hopefully I don't knock it out. Nice, okay, cool. Yeah, Gecko is now level 36, awesome. So yeah, Go Trainer Wendy is about to send it. Oh yeah, I'll actually switch to Smokey now, because that'd be a smart move. Okay, Smokey's at a PI. I was like, where'd Smokey go? But I just passed him. I didn't see him on the Pokemon list. But now I do. I selected him already. He's out in battle. So this is Roselia. Let's just flame through on this thing. It's gonna use Magic Leaf. Magic Leaf never misses, really. Uh, only in certain cases, like if it's Pokemon's underwater, or in the air, or underground. But sometimes it even probably hits then. But, you know. Flame through hits. Awesome. It takes the Roselia in one hit. Awesome. And the Roselia goes down. Get a little bit over a thousand, a thousand nine experience for to for Toriko, my Smokey. Awesome, you defeated Cool Trainer Wendy. You're passed with flying colors. Thanks. Yeah, we got one thousand four hundred eighty eight pocket eyes for winning. Awesome. What? Cheated? I must have cheated there. I said cheated there. But Geico is evolving. What? Geico is evolving. Yep. Geico is evolving to Sceptile, and all my Pokemon members, after uh, Geico evolves into Sceptile, will be at their final evolutionary stage, which is pretty cool. And we, we don't, don't even have 7 gym badges yet, so that's pretty good. So that's awesome. Yeah, congratulations, you Geico evolved into Sceptile. Nice. Okay, let's grab this item. Wait, is there an item here? Is there an item in this rock? Nope, I guess not. Um, who do I want to put front? Yeah, let's put uh, Twitch up front, actually. So off screen, I'm gonna actually heal, or in between videos, yeah, or off screen, technically the same thing. I'm gonna, um, I'm going to heal up, or, um, no, I guess I'm not, cause there's a, this cool trainer I wanna fight, or this cool, yeah, cool trainer. I think it's like three Pokemon, just like that cool trainer Wendy did. So yeah, so this has been my Pokemon redo, this has been my Pokemon Ruby redo the part. The next part will take on the rest of this route, hopefully, and go a couple of times. It'll take a couple times coming back because there's multiple paths, as I said, to get items and to battle all the trainers. So after that, we're going to go ahead to uh, Slaveport after that, but we want to finish this route first.
So we have fly. I have to fly my screamer, my Skarmory, so I can just use the fly back to a Lake of City. And I can just cut the back of this route because it's kind of a long way to. You have to go through the tall grass, pass the safari zone, and then you surf down, surf to get down to the route, and then go all the way down here to go where I'm at. So I'll probably just cut it for the next part and just cut out the unnecessary parts. So yeah, so this has been Giant Girl again. I would like to thank you for goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walkthrough Guide.